We're finally starting to see updates in the AI world that we've all been waiting for. So what's the update, Eric? Character consistency. For AI-generated video. And this update is now available in one of my favorite apps, Free Pick. So today, not only will I show you how to create consistent characters in this new update for AI video, but I'll also share a brand new prompt generator that you can use to create some awesome looking AI influencers. Before we head to Free Pick, let me first show you some awesome prompts that you could use specifically to generate some good looking AI influencers. Now for that, we're going to head over to my Mega Prompts database. Now we're not in the prompt generator yet because I first want to show you a few prompts that we could use the first test this with. For the most amazing prompts and prompts databases, click the links in the description. And so if you do have access to this database, you'll notice up at the very top, there is a brand new category and it's called AI influencers. And here we are, brand new category for AI influencers. Now all of these prompts were actually generated with the prompt generator I'm about to share with you. And you can see right here, it's interchangeable. It works for every model. I have Midjourney, FreePick, and Leonardo AI. It's gonna work great all across the board. And as always, any prompts I share or demonstrate in any of these videos will be available for anybody to use via the links in the description. This prompt will be on this specific page right here. So what we'll do as we'll scroll down, let's go ahead and copy and paste some of these prompts that yet don't have an image. And so now here we are over here in FreePick. And again, here are some of these AI influencers. I've been able to make in free pick right here. But like I said, it can be interchangeable. They can be used in mid journey, Leonardo AI, etc. So in order to find this new update, all you have to do on the left hand side is just simply go into the video generation tool. And now right here, I have Kling 1.6 Pro. Just click this and now we're going to change up our model. As we scroll down, you could see it right here. It's over here and it's called Minimax Reference. Realism from one image consistent across every scene. And so you could see right away that free pick is already already at the front of adding these new updates as they continue to come out from many of these AI video tools. Wow. Are you serious? Just simply select Minimax Reference. Now it's over here on the left-hand side, ready to be used. But first, before we get right into the AI video, let's go ahead and generate some images from these prompts I just showed you. And then we'll use the prompt generator to generate prompts for AI influencers, and then use those for character consistency. You can see these images really do look good. Here is the full prompt. And as I click on each image, I could go through a few of these and see actually how they're gonna look, okay? So with those prompts copied, I'll come over here in the free pick and paste it in over in the top left. So right now I have Flux 1.1 selected. We'll go ahead and generate two in this one. Now notice this between the two different prompts. This one right here I have copied and pasted is one of my favorites because it gives you the description of what your influencer will look like, but then it also will include some very key information as far as the actual camera being used, some cinematic lighting examples, and then a very good high quality lens like you see right here. Okay, so all of our images are done and man, they did a phenomenal phenomenal job. Just look at some of these images I was able to get. And as I scroll down, you could see the actual prompt and what mode I used, which now brings me to how exactly I was able to make these prompts in which I'll show you very quickly right now. It's using this prompt generator specifically for AI influencers. Now I'll show you how to use it very quickly, but then after that, we really got to test out the character consistency. Now this AI influencer prompt generator is going to be in my prompt generators database, essentially prompts that generate prompts. And it's going to be this one right here, AI influencer image prompt. Okay. And now here is the whole entire prompt right over here. What we're going to want to do is come in here and now just go ahead and copy the whole entire thing. Now come over here into chat GPT and simply just go ahead and paste the whole entire thing in. Don't worry about anything yet. We're going to let the AI do all the work for us. So right away and instantly you could see it's getting right to work and giving us some very good looking prompts. And as I scroll down, I'm going to go ahead and get five right away. Now, right now my prompt is specific specifically to create AI influencers for women, you can easily tell ChatGPT recreate the prompts, but this time do it for a man. You can also tell it to generate five more, but in this specific style or category. After ChatGPT gives you your first series of prompts, just change it up by specifically asking it what to do. Okay, so now in order to generate our video, let's come back over here into free pick. And now all you have to do is come down here and make sure you have Minimax reference selected. It's selected. Now over here on the left-hand side, we now have to select 
select our character reference image. All you have to do is select upload character reference right here in this box. Now, once you go ahead and click it, you have multiple options. Now, since we already generated these AI images, that's what we're gonna choose. But notice this, you can also drag and drop an image into this box right here. And so that way it gives you good flexibility to where you can either use one of free picks, previously generated AI images, or you can upload an image from an outside source. It could be from another app, or it could be a real photo, one that you have personally in your documents or even one off of the internet. And so either way, the same exact protocol is used. Now the image I chose was this one right here, this woman holding the coffee. And now right off the bat, you could see it instantly provides you with a description. However, we can use that, but if we're looking for something completely different, let's go ahead and remove it. Because what if we want something different than her in this image right here? Beautiful AI influencer walking in a futuristic cyberpunk world, holding a coffee and taking sips. Now all you have to do is simply select a generate. And so for this first one, look at this right here. Now remember, this is the image I chose for my character reference. Now, because I used a completely different prompt and setting, look at this, here is what I actually got. This did a pretty good job. Different setting. I did specifically say to drink the coffee and that's exactly what she did. If I go to another video where I wanted one that was gonna be 3D rendered, look at this. It also did it perfectly well. Same woman, blonde hair, blue eyes, walking, cyberpunk world, holding that coffee. Now it's still not perfect yet, but it does do very well across the board. Let me show you a few more I was able to get. So I'll go ahead and remove this one, put it in the trash, and now upload a completely different one. Okay, so how about this woman right here? It has a close up of her face. Let's go ahead and now use this one. Okay, so now what I'll do is let's come in here and see if we can get some different level of inspiration. Let's open up this one right here and see if we can get an image that looks kind comparable to this one right here. Okay, the videos are done, and I have to say, look how good of a job these did. Not bad at all. These actually turned out very well. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.